Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman. This is the 11 o'clock a.m. market updates here at Tiger Financial News Network. We're looking at the Dow 437 at 34,920. There's a chance that this is a move that doesn't have that sudden sell-off. I will be watching it very closely. Why? Because the Dow um, gave hints that it was so weak the other day when it rallied after the Friday uh, sharp decline and the Monday rally that was very strong in the NDX 100, the QQQ. Dow didn't participate. So we're watching this closely. If the Dow can start to trade, actually trade for a day or two, about 35,100, that'll be very good. It's at 34,914 right now. The S&P at this particular moment, Dow's only up 1.25. The S&P's up 1.61. That's good. But it needs very much to get to the 4658, 4662 area. It's at 4640 right now, up 73. Hey, that's pretty darn good. Look at the QQQ. Um, it is up 1.30. It's kind of stalling a little bit because of that mix in the in the index and the index 100. So the 398.94 level, that's good. If it's able to trade in the three, oops, in the 402 area in the next two days, that'll be a very good sign. SMHs and semiconductors are still very strong and kind of leading the way. The IWM had a really good rally early on, gapped up and has held that move up 5.44 at 223. Look at gold. Gold is up about 12 points at 1789. It needs to get to the 1806, 1810 area to say, whoops, I've turned this whole area into a support level. Otherwise, this is resistance. If you look at the dollar, the dollar actually has pulled back quite sharply, holding quite nicely near the highs of 96.64 just about a week or so ago. This trading at 95.81, not bad, holding well. But this is very interesting. Look at crude oil. Crude oil just got decimated from the 85s down to the 64s, trading now at 68.71. It's trying to rally. I suspect it could make an arch formation going to the 71, 72 area, and then maybe turn down again. And the TLT, this is also very important. The TLT is down $1.46 at $150.30, meaning rates are going higher. But it's in the higher range. If the TLT at any point in the next week or two starts to trade, trade, I don't mean just bounce, but trade in the 153.50 to the 154s, that means yields are coming down regardless of what the Fed says. And uh, so stay tuned. You've got Larry Pizzavento coming up, Tiger, uh, then you've got uh, Think or Swim, then you've got Steve Rhodes, Dave White, and I'll be doing the Tom O'Brien Show at 3 o'clock today. Have a wonderful session. Hope to see you all the way through. Great programming. And that was our 439. Very good.